If you own a 94 to 98 Mustang and your odometer has quit working, more than likely it's a set of gears right here. Luckily we've got you covered with a brand new odometer gear repair kit that's made right here in the USA and features a lifetime warranty. Now we're going to show you how to put this in on this 97 Mustang GT. First off you want to grab you a nut driver with a, a T20 Torx bit and remove the two screws at the top of your instrument cluster bezel. Then you want to grab you a small flat blade screwdriver, pull out on your headlight knob, and in the little recess or the uh, cutout spot, you'll see a little metal tab. You'll want to engage that screwdriver just behind that metal tab and apply light pressure to it while pulling out on the knob, and the knob will pull off of the headlight switch. Now you can go ahead and pop off your bezel. Just pull out on it, and it'll come away from the dash. And then you have access to the four screws that hold on the, uh, the instrument cluster to the dash, and those also take a T20 Torx bit. And be careful not to drop these uh, screws into the dash, because then you may have to go on a little hunting expedition to find them. Sometimes a little pocket magnet will help to fish them out of the hole. Then you can grab hold of your instrument cluster and slide it out of the dash. And you've got an electrical connector on each side. It has one single release tab at the top. You can pull that and then rotate it around and you can unplug the other side. Single release tab at the top. And now we can go over to the bench and I'll show you how to put that new odometer gear set into your instrument cluster. Now that you've got your instrument cluster out and on a workbench, you're going to want to grab you either a T15 Torx bit or a 5.5 millimeter socket to remove the small screws all the way around your instrument cluster lens. And you can go ahead and pop all these out. Then you can pick up on the cluster lens and just set it out of the way. Now you've got one more T15 or 5.5 millimeter uh, screw right down here at the bottom below the uh, speedometer. Get it out of the way. Then you're going to want to grab you a small flat blade screwdriver and pry up on your temp or you know, your oil pressure and uh, charge gauge and then come over to the other side for your fuel level and engine temp. Just pry up slightly. And then you can grab hold of your speedometer and tachometer and lift straight up. Basically what you're doing is disengaging those pins out of the back of the, uh, the instrument cluster housing. Now you can flip your speedometer tachometer assembly over and actually twist, and sometimes you may have to grab a uh, 
flat blade screwdriver to help you out. Twist the little motor there out and then there's your worm gear, which this worm gear is broken. And then on your, uh, your drive gear or your driven gear here, the shaft on it is broken. So that's why this odometer wasn't working. You can take your flat blade screwdriver and pry out the old gear and then pry out the remnants. And typically there's a little grease in there, so that'll help it stick to your screwdriver. And if not, you can just dump over the assembly to get the remnants out. Now on this, we're gonna take a needle nose pair of pliers, pry off, well, that just kind of broke apart. Yours will probably do about the same, maybe even worse. You can kind of wipe off some of that uh, junk. All right, now you take your new worm gear and engage it onto the shaft of the motor. It's going to be a very tight fit, so don't be surprised if it takes a little bit of effort. Now I press it down almost all the way, and then I get to a point to where I can stick my thumbnail on the bottom side of that gear and finish pressing down until I feel a little bit of tension against the, the base of that motor. And that way I've got a little bit of air gap, and that's a little bit too much. You basically just want the width of, of a fingernail uh, air gap between that worm gear and the base of the motor. Then you can grab your driven gear and just snap it into place. Make sure it is slid all the way over to the right. Then you can take your motor assembly and twist it back into place. Now you can go ahead slide everything back together into the housing and then reinstall your instrument cluster into your car and enjoy your new working odometer and trip odometer. Now if you have any other questions about this feel free to call in to our tech line or check out LateModelRestoration.com.